folks, let me say this about last Sunday's debacle. There were enough goats on the offensive side of the football to have taken all of those players and sent them up to the famed Texas A&M Veterinary School and given them enough players, comma, goats, to have conducted experiments for the next two years. Since we're not doing that, let's talk about where the screw-ups were. And I know it's very easy for you fans out there to say, it was all matchup. Folks, for 59 minutes and 53 seconds, there were ample opportunities to make plays. I've said it once, and I will go to my grave saying it. Quarterbacks get too much praise when things go well, too much grief when they lose. John Elway was not going to make that play, not the way Branch was coming at him. But I must reserve my rant for the man who I refer to, kiddingly, because we are in the entertainment business, as my favorite knucklehead. Jacoby Jones, a man who, in my mind, wears his football IQ on the back of his jersey. That's 12. Now, he may shock us. He may go on to become a member of Mensa Society, may do graduate work at Harvard, and come up with a cure for cancer. But on the football field, he is an idiot with a capital I. Five years into the league, and the guy still does not know how to run pass patterns. Other than a slant, you tell me what pattern Jacoby runs. Dan Fouts had a field day the way he was trying to round off his patterns. All he had to do was to use his head, take a jab step toward the center of the end zone, and then go right back to the corner of the end zone. All there, game is over. One for 11, nine yards, stinks. But right between the ears, he failed you and the Texans.